The signers of the Declaration of Independence vowed their lives, fortunes, and sacred honor just for the opportunity of liberty for all. Don't worry, the dinner table isn't going to ask you for all of that. We join the dinner table to support leadership that respects, promotes, and fights for individual liberty and freedom. As a veteran, I chose to sacrifice and serve this country in order to secure these values for the next generation. Today, I'm ashamed to have served for those who call themselves Americans and yet recklessly trample on the liberty and individual freedoms of the people. I served my country for over two decades. Um, in that time, it really disgusted me how these politicians, they would throw us under the bus without remorse, not, never being held accountable, and they just went on the merry way. I feel like I have zero representation in Augusta and in DC, and I'm tired of it. I want to be heard. I'm an American, I love this country, and it's time for a change, and it starts at the dinner table. The Constitution is not the limit of our freedom, it is the limit of the government's contract to the people they serve. The dinner table brings affirmation to my sacrifice that it was not in vain because it aspires to restore leadership who will serve the people and protect their freedoms. Mrs. Powell asked Benjamin Franklin as he was leaving the Constitution Convention in 1787, what have you given us? He replied, a republic, if you can keep it. You and I have a role to play in this fight. I ask you to join us. All great change begins at the dinner table.